the online class. This is Monira Kassan Bikri, lecturer in the Department of English, Dolosur College, Kushtia. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, our college authority has emphasized on taking online classes for the betterment of the student and for the upcoming intervention for this region I am here. Uh, actually, long time no see. Hope you use your valuable time with good words. So let's go to the topic. Our uh, today's topic is the Garden Party Short History by Catherine Mansfield, which is included in your first year syllabus. The Garden Party. The real name of Kathleen Mansfield is Kathleen Mansfield Murray, was a prominent New Zealand modernist short history writer and poet who was born and brought up in colonial New Zealand and uh, uh, wrote under the pen name of Kathleen Mansfield. She belongs to a very rich family. Her father uh, was a uh, chairman of the Bank of New Zealand, but at the age of 19, uh, she left New Zealand and settled in England, where she became a friend of her contemporary, some of her contemporary writers like Virginia Woolf and D.S. Lawrence. Actually, they are writing analytically, examining and criticize social institutions around them and social class and how this class impacts uh, impacts the behavior of people uh, to the society uh, uh, this is the main uh, issues of them she also influenced by marxism and metaphysical social awareness is uh, also shown in his, in her writing Catherine Mansfield writing. She was also, Catherine Mansfield was also influenced by another rebellion poet, Oscar Wilde. And uh, some of uh, her short story is uh, A Doll's House, Bliss, Mrs. Bill, and more. So, in uh, 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 after uh, after a few uh, times later, she was uh, uh, she, uh, she was uh, diagnosed with extra pulmonary uh, tuberculosis in uh, 1917, and the disease claimed her life at the age of 34. So. The Garden Party and Other Stories is a collection of short stories by Catherine Mansfield and it was first published in Westminster Gazette in 1922 and she died in 1923. Uh, so, its luxurious setting is based on Catherine Mansfield, uh, the Garden Party's luxurious setting is based on her childhood home at uh, 133 Tinakori Road, Third on Wellington, where her family lived in. And uh, after the first order, we know that uh, uh, we know that uh, the Garden Party was written after the first order and after the first order people were fed up with the uh, Victorian hypocrisy actually Victorian hypocrisy of the Victorian society and uh, 
she was written in the modernist mode without a set of structure um, of course without a set of structure and uh, create a new form uh, in her writing and uh, with many shifts in the narrative and uh, she is a prime innovator it was said that she was a uh, she was a prime innovator of this short stories form so this is about uh, uh, the stories and uh, this is about the catherine mansfield um, writings and about catherine mansfield so before we go to the text we know the we should know the characters of uh, garden party so the main character of this garden party is lola a protagonist and uh, mrs seridan and mr seridan mr mrs seridan is a shallow mother mother of jos may lola and luri they are four brothers and sisters one brother and three sisters mr seridan is a business minded man and meg meg is her um, one sister lora's one sister jos is another bossy sister like her mother and lori her only brother and she he is some alike to lora and there are many servants male servants and uh, women servants and many cooks and mr scots of course a poor neighbor of there so uh, this is all about characters so we let's go through the text now we are going to the main text i just read out some of the lines at first and after all the water was ideal the children have had a more perfect day for a garden party if they had ordered it one day to one day stay without a cloud only the blue and gray with a hint of light gold and it is sometimes in early summer the garden has been asking down in the lawns and treating them so the first half of the story the first half of the story is uh, about to preparing the garden party and uh, and the nature of lora actually how she deals with the workers and uh, now whom they are inviting in their garden parties who are the guests uh, that they expect in the garden party various types of food and uh, what are the arrangements band parties and all things are related in the garden party so they are preparing their uh, their sister preparing for piano piano playing and uh, oil dressed up various types of dessert so this is all about preparing in garden party half of the story so the garden party is about to start when uh, lora the garden party is about to start here basically about to start when lora uh, uh, knows that here that a man uh, a man poor man poor neighbor of her was died from an accident to know this accident lora wants to stop the party actually and for this reason she uh, come to jos her bossy sister to uh, to stop the party and uh, tells uh, her that uh, uh, tells her that is it uh, is it appropriate to uh, continue the party because uh, mr scott is our neighbor poor class neighbor but uh, jos do say to him that to, to stop if we stop the party man does not doesn't come to life so she said that if we stop the party this dead man doesn't come to life so this is weird uh, we can't stop the party and this is ridiculous and uh, no one expect from us to stop the party so uh, she behave like this 
actually Jews behavior is some some allied to high class society's attitude because the high class society are not paying any heed to the poor classes people and uh, their death does not matter to uh, them. This is the picture of that society. Uh, so uh, Jews also reflects this character actually. Then, uh, then uh, uh, Laura comes to her mother. She says it. She also says that this is ridiculous. It is not correct to uh, because this this party is going to be start now. Uh, so it's not correct to stop the party and uh, nobody expects this from us. She also said that and uh, Laura feels so bad and um, to see her feelings, to change her feelings, her mother, Mrs. Sheridan, give him a beautiful black hat and said that go to the mirror and look yourself that you are so pretty. So Laura uh, go to the mirror and uh, look herself very pretty to wear this such beautiful uh, hat, black hat. So she forgets everything and she uh, thinks to herself that uh, my mother uh, may be right. Uh, we should uh, continue the party. So the party happens. And uh, so the party happens. And uh, when the party is uh, finished, all the guests were moved. Uh, then uh, they are sitting under uh, Mrs. Sheridan and uh, her family uh, sitting under uh, a Matthew tree, a deserted Matthew. And uh, suddenly her father, Mrs. M Mrs. Sheridan's husband, actually Laura's father, mentions an accident and Laura is reminded of the dead worker. So she forgets everything when continuing the party. But after the party, when they are sitting under a desert mark you, uh, her father reminds about the accident, reminds about the poor neighbor Scott. Uh, so that uh, for this reason, Flora is reminded of the dead body also. Then. Uh, her mother understands her feelings and uh, uh, convinces her to go to the poor neighbor's colony uh, with a leftover wasted foods uh, so that it should be helpful for us and she, they, they, they will be happy. So I just read out some of the lines. And uh, awkward little silence fell. Mrs. Sheridan frightened with her cup. Really, it was a checklist of father. Suddenly, she looked up. There on the table were all those sandwiches, cakes, puffs, all unten, all, uh, all going to be wasted. She had on his brilliant ideas. So, left to her foods, wasted foods, she wants to convince Laura to go with this uh, leftover force, deliver this leftover force to the widow. And she also said that, uh, said to Laura that, please don't watch or don't look over the dead man uh, and come quickly. So Laura wants to change her dress, uh, but her mother didn't want to do that and uh, Laura uh, going to that um, poor dwelling's house, poor neighbor's house. She first crossed um, her gate and then uh, crossed uh, cross the big roads and uh, when she entered the colony and entered that poor dwelling's, the atmosphere is so darkness, darkened and oppressive that she can't imagine 
totally opposite uh, opposite to the garden party because uh, garden party is full of life full of enjoyment but there is no life no enjoyment there there is a dark end and uh, very uh, uh, saddest uh, atmosphere and uh, to see this lot of is ashem ashem to dress like this because uh, this is a dress a dress of worldly uh, worldly people this is a symbol of high class people of, uh, and this is a symbol of oil so this atmosphere it is not appropriate to dress like this so she feels ashamed of herself uh, and um, there nothing to do that's why um, she going to that uh, uh, poor neighbor's house uh, the poor neighbor's uh, uh, the poor neighbor's sister uh, taken her to that house and uh, when she sees and um, sees the dead body she stand because the dead body is so um, she is so beautiful and so peaceful um, so here i just read out some of the line it's so touching line i think lora kam uh, lora entered the room there lay young man fast asleep sleep uh, sleeping so soundly so deeply that uh, he was far far away from the both or so remote so peaceful he was dreaming never wake him up again his head was sunk in the pillow his eyes were closed they were blind under the closed eyelids he was given up the dream what did garden parties and basket and leg frocks matter to him uh, so this line is very pathetic and uh, she said that her face is so beautiful so peaceful that all the garden parties are meaningless silly to him and uh, here she but all the same uh, same you had to cry and she didn't go out of the room without saying something to him lora gave a loud childish sob for in my heart she said so lora to see this face lora uh, is crying and uh, say to the dead body that uh, forgive my heart because she ashamed of herself and that she dressed like uh, this so uh, uh, this is the realization of lora at first uh, we see that lora is very innocent lora is a very innocent girl but uh, after discovering the death uh, she uh, experienced lots of thing and she experienced that um, there is lot of there is a lot of things in the world to concentrate but uh, not only the garden parties to concentrate so uh, and she also realizes that there are huge lots of differences between poor and rich so he she was first innocence then she gained experience from the um, uh, dead man and uh, this is this is the best realization of her so if we could put some line from a last line uh, she she stepped out of the shadow is that you lordy lora yes mother was getting anxious was it all right yeah quite oh lordy she took his arm she pressed up against him i see you are not crying are you asked her brother so her brother asked her that um, are you crying so lora you know sensibly said that yeah i am crying uh, because uh, uh, so here uh, her brother also said that asked her that was it awful uh, the dead body is awful but uh, lora said that no brother i am crying but uh, don't know how why i am crying but her his face is so peaceful and uh, so meaningful and uh, so beautiful that everything in the world uh, is everything of the garden but is everything of the world is meaningless and silly silly for him so
so this is about the uh, text now we just discuss about the main theme of the garden party for basically four main themes we find in the garden party there are many themes but four main themes we see in the garden party first is class class consciousness so lora lora feels a certain sense of kinship with the work uh, work man and uh, dead man mr scott and their family uh, because uh, when they are uh, they were, they were very little belora uh, and uh, their sisters and brothers were very little they are not allowed to go to their poor dwellings because it uh, they think that is it it spoil their vista so this is uh, our class consciousness that time because uh, that's short story was written after the first order and the society was something like that another another main theme is illusion versus reality so another theme is illusion versus reality ha uh, lora actually is stuck in the world of high class housing food family garden parties old dressed and everything uh, but uh, after discovering the death of her poor neighbor she uh, clicks back to reality upon discovering death that life is not like that uh, garden parties uh, and this realization this realization makes him more experienced and the third one is sensitivity and the sadness sensitivity and insensitivity the sadness hold their garden party as planned playing band music and everything after hearing the news of the dead man she they can't uh, uh, stop the garden party but uh, lora thinks that is it appropriate to continue the garden party after discovering such a day uh, dead dead man in near our house and uh, this insensitivity is is a feature of that society and lora lora thinks that it is not it is not appropriate uh that a man killed after a died after a few hours ago and we are continuing garden party this is actually insensitivity so this theme is also important and the last theme is death and life death and life actually catching man's feel uh, that 
the garden party, the protagonist Flora is a mouthpiece piece of Catherine Mansfield, as I think, because uh, she died, Catherine Mansfield died in a very early age, in uh, only 34, at the age of 34. So she takes, uh, she thinks that she handles both life and uh, death in uh, her short story and Dora thinks that life is simply marvelous but um, she shows death actually in a positive light. Uh, Laura uh, says that life is uh, truly marvelous, truly beautiful but uh, uh, death seems to her merely a sound sleep far away from all travels of human life or worldly life. Uh, so this is about the themes uh, and I think it will be helpful for you and this is all for today and if you have any queries then contact with me. Uh, so thank you very much. Please don't go outside for irrelevant issues. Stay home. And thank you very much. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.